Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Seer and we are currently in our huge, gigantic aquarium that will eventually house many different species of Asian river fish. And we're doing really well in here. I am so blown away by the work we did yesterday. I know it seemed kind of tedious just like clearing away some of the ceiling and making sure that stone was everywhere and then putting on the stalactites, but guys, guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for how cool it looks? Look at this! Look at how cool that looks! It really looks amazing! When I have finally finished getting all of our little dirt pillars out of the way and looked up, I was like, whoa! This is so cool! I need to go back to the end and I actually need to clean up those stalactites because the water line is going to be right along the top of the glass here and if the fish actually have water covering these stalactites these stalactites will have little air bubbles in them and the fish will like hit the air pocket and they'll die so we can't let the fish touch the stalactites unfortunately but this is going to look fantastic as a way to light up the ceiling to make it really so you can see everything that's going on inside the aquarium this is going to be fantastic and it looks so cool and i just cannot wait to try this out in some more of our cave exhibits as we begin building those ones too but but for today, we are actually getting ready to go on an adventure because we need to gather up lots of different water plants that we'll be able to fill this up with. And I do not have many water plants. My plant sorting chest is like quite empty. I'm actually pretty ashamed of that. So we're going to be going on a big expedition soon. But before we do, I need to get more puppy food. I need to get more puppy food for Tate and Lily and all of our other puppies that are back at home. So we are going to be heading back to the house. We're going to be hopefully gathering up enough money or enough things to sell that we can pop over to the Two Paw Doggy Bakery, which currently has another new person waiting there for us, Tate, because one of my goals, as I have told you guys many times, one of my goals this year for season three of Zoo Crafting is to make the zoo come to life with lots of the old NPCs, lots of new ones, lots of trees, lots of amazing things added in, and I actually happen to have a little surprise to show you guys on our way back to the house. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys the little bit of work that has been done to start adding in some of the amazing things that people added in in season one but before we do that Lily and Tate let's go ahead and check on our blazing chickens because I have kind of changed things up in the blazing chicken room just to try to make sure that these guys are going to be safe and well behaved Tate's like are you sure we should come in mom no I'm actually not sure so you, you two stay here I'm gonna close the door because I don't want you to pick a fight with my blazing chickens again Lily. I know she was just trying to protect us when that one was trying to peck her eyes out though. So finally, we have finally figured out a way to be able to set up the blazing chin, chin? The blazing chicken pin. There we go. The blazing chin. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to name one of these guys the blazing chin now. That just sounds amazing. But we finally have a setup so that the chickens will move around. They won't just like shove themselves up against the corner of a fence that the way that they do uh, when you keep chickens inside of a fenced area. I always thought that looks really really sad and I don't like to keep them in a fenced area because they just stick themselves against like the walls and they don't move anywhere oh no one's trying to kill me yay no one's trying to kill me <laughs> wonderful I guess the babies are tamed after all I don't know why that one just decided to eat my eyes out huh well, but we're doing all right. So we have a few unnamed babies. It looks like these are our two unnamed babies. Then we have Cinder, Blaze Feather, Magma Puff, and I think one of you guys. You guys and Smog. There we go. So here are the unnamed guys, and we're going to be hopefully getting at least one more baby. I'm almost out of blaze rods, so I'm going to run out of blaze rods. I'm going to have to go get more blaze rods because that's how you breed these chickens. And because they're super duper rare and I only got them from a special event, I want to make sure we keep plenty of them just in case something untold happens, like some sort of some sort of cold snap. I bet these guys have to keep their temperatures way high. All right, so let's see. What are the names I've got? Ember and Firecracker. And Flare. Firecracker actually sounds like a fun name to give. <gasps> Cracker Jack! Cracker Jack, you have a little piece of paper for me. Aren't you so sweet? Let me go ahead and give you a little seed. I need to get more seeds so I can just spoil Cracker Jack rotten because you are the, the most precious, most adorable bird ever. All right, I'm going to collect these up. I'm going to open this. Whoops. Okay. Uh, come on. Uh, come on, Siri. You can figure out. It's just a glass wall. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, so Cracker Jack. Um, I kind of want to save the name Firecracker for Cracker Jack's kid, actually. So we're going to save the name Firecracker. And then I have a lot of new names that I need to add. Oh, Moultries. That's a really good one. I have a lot of new names that I need to add from you guys for our blazing chicken little pile of chickens that we've got going on here. You are now going to be dubbed Ember. 
If I could name you. Come here, Ember. There you go, Ember. Smog, Cinder. Are you unnamed? You are unnamed. You are going to be Flare. And then your baby, Flare. And where's Ember? Cinder, Smog, Ember. I want them to have the baby. Uh, baby? Baby? Hello? Oh, there's the baby! There's the baby, and this is going to be Moultries. There we go. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I have quite the blazing chicken population in there. That makes me pretty happy. But all right, let me go ahead, and we are going to see the things that are new in the zoo, Tate and Lily. And then we're going to see if we can go ahead and snag some dog food before the day is over. And then it's just so cool every time I see that. I'm so proud. No wonder you guys enjoy actually being able to slow things down and see every single, every single, oh my goodness, today's series tongue is just twisting all over the place. Every single block being put down because there's something that just makes you feel all puffed up with pride when you can look at that. Ah, all right. But let's go ahead and I will show you guys some of the new little things I have started to decorate the jungle area with. Lily and Tate should be teleporting to us in no time. Not worried about that. Oh, it's raining. I see. Let's make sure no hummingbirds follow us out. And we're going to go ahead and keep moving. Hello, Dodo ATM Stan. Keep moving over to... Aha. Well, there's a sneak peek. We just ran past a sneak peek, but I'm not going to peek at it until we get to the main spot. So, and you guys can kind of see it now. I have added in another one of the trees from the old world. So what the heck is a tree from the old world, Siri? Well, in our second world that we had in season one. Um, oh, that's fine, Lily. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I see how it is. You're just going to kind of steal the moment, steal the show and like climb up this vine here, are you? Yeah, good girl. <laughs> They're so funny. I wonder if Tate's going to catch me some fish from the rain. But here we go. So, in the old world in season one, uh, when I was in a pinch and people would give donations, they would donate a dollar and plant a tree in the zoo. And that really actually helped me, like, feed myself and make ends meet back then. It was very, very tight, very difficult. And we were able to see things through because of the kindness of many of our wonderful, wonderful community members. So, when people would donate a dollar, then they got a tree. And so, we have lots of trees planted all over the old world and the old world got deleted and so I've been slowly trying to go through my list and get messages from people if you're one of those people make sure you email me check my email and email me do it do it do it so I can make sure you get your stuff back in and now I'm finally being able to add back in all of the trees and it makes me so happy I'm like actually tearing up a little bit because each one of these trees basically is bringing to life like one of our community members bringing somebody into this world and showing how they had such a beautiful positive effect on us and it's just fantastic and Tate is sniffing the tree but this is a peaceful rest planted by Aaron and Aaron requested a magic tree back in the old world that maybe was near a pond or something somewhere where Tate and Lily could rest and so what we did is we put the tree right over here it is in the jungle area now because she used to want it in the bamboo forest so this is over in the jungle area and it is one of the first things that you see as a beautiful little decorative garden as soon as you pop off the jade bridge into the jungle zone which i love and tate he caught me a fish from the rain who's a good boy who's a good boy tate you're such a good boy but yes it's the very first thing you see now when you pop off the bridge the path kind of branches over kind of lets you walk up it lets you look at the beautiful the beautiful tree with its beautiful like little blue leaves falling down and I tried to make the area look somewhat nice by putting down some ferns we have some of my favorite the maiden's wart ferns and we have some of the wadesia ferns and Mas Madagascar palm and some of the Panama queen flowers I'm surprised I can remember so many of them by name by now <laughs> and then I made a new devincing bench that I think looks absolutely beautiful so this is a, ben a bench made out of the devincing mod and it resembles very closely one of my favorite benches from from Zoo Tycoon 2. As you can see, it is definitely uh, Mushroom approved, so Mushroom seems to really enjoy it. But you can just come over here, take a nice little rest, maybe get something really delicious to snack on from the Peafowl Cafe, and just settle in over here. So I really love it. I really love it. I love just the way we're starting to bring some of these details back in and finally being able to give everybody who helped me out so much back then their place in our new world. And it makes me so happy. Oh, I just like smashed my head on that. Just makes me so happy. And he got me another fish from the rain. Oh, wow. He got two more fish. He's such a good boy. <laughs> Oh, but yes, so this is that tree. I love it. It's got the appetites growing on it this time. I love the little like... Uh, ferns that are growing everywhere and I actually kind of needed to figure out because it used to be you could come over here and just stare straight like to where we have the um the 
Oh, I'm going to forget their name. The Reticulated River Race. So it used to be like you were just staring straight at their exhibit, but you walk the path over here to get to the River Race. So it was weird how you could see them from here, but you couldn't walk there. So what I did is I put down a couple lines of ferns, large ferns, so that they kind of divide everything up. And I think that actually made a really nice natural breakaway where if you know where you're going, you can just run through the ferns, but you can also just take the path properly. And like follow the path. Oh, do you caught me another fish? He is really on a roll. Wow. I mean, why are there fish falling from the sky? Good job, Tate. I'm really impressed. And I'm starting to sprinkle around the zoo the benches now. So these are going to be kind of like our one of our jungle benches. He's got another one. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So many fish from the sky, Tate. So many fish from the sky. But yeah, I really like this bench too. So I'm very, very happy with it. Very happy with it indeed. All right, and let's go ahead and before we pop over to the house, I'm going to just come over and try to gather up the sugar cane if it will be so obliging. I'll gather up some of these, these little herb pieces too. I tell you what, having that sorting system for the plants is like the best thing in the world because now when we come and just do a quick little bit of gardening, because throughout Zoodesia Zoo, we like to try to make this place a very functional garden uh, or a very functional landscape, I should say. So you can do tons of gardening all over the place, anywhere you go. Um, no, I can't get around there. I might have to come back over and like redo things a little bit so I can harvest my sugar cane over here a little bit better. Also, I'll gather up these bamboo pieces because I need them to make thatched bamboo. Probably need to find a better place to grow that too. Those will be some of the things we work on other days because today, like the goal is to try to get back to the house so we can work on getting dog food. All right, here we go. Oh man, but oh, look at all these juicy pomegranates. Just think about what we could make them into. I just, oh no, Lily, help, help. I fell in the Bun Bun River. Lily, oh my gosh. <laughs> At first I was just teasing and then I stepped off the deep end. That was a little alarming. All right, and let's go ahead and just gather up some of these pomegranates because they look so juicy and delicious. And just imagine when we have like a little pomegranate stand over here. Mmm, maybe we could, <gasps> we could even take some of like the ice cream and uh, not bowls of rice. I want ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, cream. There we go. We could take some of the ice creams and we could probably just like rename them, like take the strawberry ice cream and rename it to pomegranate ice cream <gasps> or pomegranate shaved ice. Oh, that would be so yummy. That would be so yummy. See, sometimes just slack them, like slapping something down on the anvil and renaming it can really like give you quite the benefit. Do I have anything I can feed the birds? Um, oops, there we go. Uh, no, I don't have anything to feed the birds, darn. Definitely not garlic. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to run up to my house. I just realized I'm taking the long way by habit. Dang it. I forgot I had that new um, pathway over at the... Yeah, I have a new pathway I built over at the jungle area. Well, that's okay, because we're going to... Ooh, there's some berries over here. We could just gather some of these little guys up like so. Put them away where they belong now. Same with this little herb garden. Oh, there's a giant, there's a giant hole in my ground there. I kind of remember knowing that that's there. I probably need to do something about it. I really need, those are the kinds of things we'll work on. We'll, we'll work on those things so that the area can be a little bit safer for any guests who are visiting our zoo. But all right, so today the goal is dog food. And I think that should be very easy to acquire and we'll be able, hello my lovelies, and we'll be able to meet the new NPC. Because like I said, whenever I have a little bit of extra time. I'm trying to make sure to go through and add in all the old NPCs. After I get more of them added in, I'll tell you guys how we're going to add in new ones and add on all the old trees. And if you are among those people and your thing has not been returned yet, make sure to email me because when the world was deleted, so are my records, unfortunately, because I never expected the world to be deleted on us. So I didn't have time to back all that up. And that is just the way of life sometimes. All right, figs, celery, ginger, edible roots, raspberry, blueberry, mushrooms, pomegranates, spice leaves, tea leaves, strawberries, blackberries, coffee, berries, beans. Coffee doesn't come on berries, it comes in beans. There we go. And let's see. The only thing I don't need to put in there is the sugar cane because I know where that's going to go. And then Holly. Oh, darling, darling, please don't dance on the cake. I think he's trying to eat the holiday cake. Honestly, darling. Oh, I should have brought Bluebell back. Okay, next time I'll bring Bluebell back. Where the heck am I going? All right, I'm coming over here. We're going to put this away in here. 
and Lily and Tay are starting to get a little hungry. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the Two Paw Doggy Bakery, and that is a shop nearby our house in what will one day become the Village of Light that has the gourmet dog food, and they cook delicious gourmet dog food treats over there. And I'm pretty sure they use <laughs> pretty sure they use sweet potatoes in some of the dog foods. I'm actually relying on that because we have a lot of sweet potato. So what we're going to try to do is we are going to take the sweet potato to the Two Paw Doggy Bakery, and we're going to trade it to him because I'm pretty sure he uses sweet potato and hopefully we can get a ton of dog food all right so we're just gonna take like a ton of the sweet potato oh my gosh i think i can tell aki she can stop making sweet potato like she can stop harvesting it because i'm pretty sure i mean i guess i could turn this into a whole bunch of things can it become flour maybe it can't even really become flour like normal potatoes <laughs> what am i gonna do with so many sweet potatoes so many sweet potatoes oh my gosh all right, well, oh look, there's more sweet potatoes. That's fine. We'll just gather these ones up too, why don't we? All right, let's come over, gather these up, put them away. Oh, there's a potato potato on the ground here. All right, we'll put this little potato potato away. And, oh, I have mail? What? All right, we're just going to peek because I don't think we have enough time to like dig through the mail today, but we're just going to take a quick peek. All right, Jude, how, how's everything going today, huh? Okay, oh my gosh, okay, okay. I saw green things. I saw cool things. I'm not peeking beyond that. We'll look at it tomorrow before we go on our big adventure. I am so excited. But yeah, before we go on our big expedition and start exploring and looking at my mail, oh my gosh, then we need to make sure that we feed our dogs before we go because that is proper pet ownership. Proper pet ownership, you guys, very important. All my precious villagers are apparently clustered in a dark corner over there just talking to each other. You guys doing okay? Yeah? Okay, everybody's just having a little chit chat. Woo! Okay, oop! Hello! Yes, my puppies are very cute! Oh, hey, hey, look, we're throwing down. Oh! <gasps> you goat! You just ate all of my presents! That goat just ate that, that gold that the villagers gave me! I don't even have a safari net on, on my, like, immediate person. It's, it's you, you, we're putting you back where you belong. You need a name for a naughty creature. So this is a nanny goat, and she needs a name for somebody who's naughty. So I'm gonna have to name her. I'm one, I want the best naughty but not inappropriate goat name you guys can come up with, please. And that's what she's going to be named, because that was naughty. Oh, oh my gosh. Naughty goats, fish falling from the sky. <laughs> I love the adventures we get up to every day. Guard chickens, keeping guard on everything. All right, so let's run on up, and we are going to go see the new surprise over in the Two Paw Doggy Bakery, because I'm really happy that she's back. All right, James, how are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? Tell me you take sweet potato. He takes sweet potato. Oh, my gosh. This might be a lot of money. This might be a little bit cheaty on some level, James. I'm really not sure how I feel about this. I mean, I am growing a lot of sweet potatoes, and I am employing aliens to do all the harvesting for me. But holy moly, I think I might saturate the market, and he might not give me as many as many coins for those sweet potatoes in the future. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, I'm actually going to check on... Ta-da! The dog! Most of them have been adopted except for this German Shepherd. And Erica is back! So Erica is one of the NPCs who won the Coining Some Jobs random drawing in Season 2. And she's finally back! So, in our world, she and James are siblings and they run the Two Paw Doggy Bakery daycare and delicious treat. Little uh, doggy gourmet cooking cafe. And Erica is actually the one in charge of taking care of the dogs who are back here in the daycare. This little daycare back here is actually actually the place that we tend to bring the stray dogs that we find just wandering the world unless they're in like a happy pack but if we just find a bunch of stray dogs we tend to bring them here and then all the other members of the server know hey we can come over here and adopt like any dogs that's in this backyard that aren't, doesn't have a name tag and Erica is the one who takes care of them and as a result that means she sells dog toys which is so much fun so she sells the blueberry rope toy the minty rope toy the throw bone the chew bone sir squid a lot smelly old boot which is just a smelly old boot to chew on miss oinks and mr nuts the plushies and she'll eventually sell even more things and she'll talk to you a little bit about what she does so what were you just saying erica i'm trying to design some non-destructive dog toys but it's proving pretty hard hmm maybe obsidian chew toys <laughs> so she will tell you about that she will talk a little bit bring life to the world in other words how you doing yep same thing 
Oh, hey, do you have a dog to leave here at the daycare? I have two I could leave and who are probably, oh my gosh, who are like starving. All right. All right, it's time to buy some food from James because my puppies are starving. All right, let's go ahead. And I don't think I'm going to be able to actually sell James all of my sweet potatoes. <laughs> because, A, it feels, I mean, I have no idea. James, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to change it to a one-to-one -one ratio. Pretty darn sure, my friend. Because otherwise, this is just, it almost feels wrong. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but that being said, maybe all that means is I can start selling my, or giving my dogs the like more expensive, do they want ostrich, carrot, and sweet mash? Let me check if they're gonna eat this. Lily? <gasps> Lily likes ostrich! Okay, noted. Well, now I guess I can start feeding my dogs the truly gourmet sweet food instead, or like dog food instead the, from sweet potatoes. So there is that. James, I wish there was a faster way we could, we could uh, kind of have this deal play out, but I understand. <laughs> Gosh, I understand if this is how slow it needs to be, James. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. This is riveting. It's actually kind of cool to be able to look over, like, all of the different foods he sells. So, you know what I think we need to do? We need to give James a little crate that we can leave the food in here at the back of the shop. I think that's what I'm going to do. And you can mass leave, like, large amounts of food if you have just a ton, a ton, a ton of things to give to them so that they can have, uh, recipe, like, ingredients for their recipes for the dog food. We'll give them a crate behind us that you can go ahead and leave things in, dump it all in at once so that you don't have to just sit here and be like, la, 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 isn't this thrilling, la, 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 la. But if you have a few things, you can still do this. But if you have more than a few things, like you have a whole stack like I do or several stacks, you can just do like quick bulk trades so that's something that i'll definitely set up i think definitely 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 so still ostrich carrot and sweet mash i guess we're gonna give our dogs like the gourmet dog food treatment i've never given them ostrich carrot and sweet mash before but on one level it feels kind of appropriate to get the super expensive food because we're kind of like getting away with like a lot of money here with our sweet potatoes and i didn't even harvest these aki did so we'll find a way to balance this Plus, it's a lot of dogs to feed. Not gonna lie, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dog, dog, dogs to feed. See, I'm tripping over my words again today. I'm just so excited. All right, and I think we'll go ahead and we will do some salmon, rice, and apple. And the other dogs are gonna be so happy because they've been stuck on zombie jerky for a little while now. And that doesn't make them very, very content. And then, let's see, who... Oh, actually, that'll make... I wonder if Holly would like kangaroo because she's very, very close to her, her birds. She doesn't like eating like any of the chicken, but I think that this should do it. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, and beef and liver, chicken, rice and blueberry, duck, pork, pork and sweet pea. Oh, what, why, Tate, what? Eat your fish, eat your fish, son. Oh my gosh, that just goes to show you, you shouldn't sit here and finagle over the details. I, I think Tate was saying, mom, I don't care what flavor it is. I'm dying of hunger now. All right, all right, message, message, Sent loud and clear, Tate. Very sorry about that. Um, and we'll just grab some venison, apple, and spinach now, I think. And then I'll come back and do the rest once I get the bulk, like, crate set up behind us. Because this is a little bit silly otherwise. We'll grab some beef livers, too. There we go. So now we've got some excellent gourmet dog food to feed to our dogs. Come along, Lily and Tate. And we're just going to make sure that these go down into the dog food bowls where they belong. Over at our house. And then tomorrow, my friends, we are going to set off on adventure! And I have no idea where we're going, but we are going somewhere. And we're going to hopefully have a really great time. We're just going to jump on the back of Sunflower. We're going to take off in a direction, and we're going to cross our fingers that we gather up all of the water plants that we're going to need to at least get started on our river exhibit. Or understand, uh, do do do, and we're going to eat some cranberry sauce mixed with a little bit of the pot roast that we're going to say is vegan. And yeah, we're going to go on an adventure. And if we can't find enough of the water plants to be able to make a, uh, oh, there's a little sweet potato, ha ha ha, sweet potatoes everywhere. If we can't find enough of the water plants to be able to decorate the exhibit comfortably, then we will just gather up enough that we will figure out how to start a greenhouse, Lily and Tate. Actually, it is time to bring you two in here. Come on, teleport inside, my loves. It's time to bring you two in here. Because you guys are going to need to stay for a little while. Oh, there's a good boy, Tate. All right, sit. Lily, come on. You can do it, Lily. You can do it. Oh, who's a good girl? Oh, she's like, mm. I think she's trying to come with us. 
by kind of wiggling. Come on, Lily. There's a good girl. See, you can play with Sir Squids a lot. There you go. Let's make sure you'll have some food over here. Venison, apple, and spinach. And let's see. We're going to make sure you guys have some ostrich, carrot, and sweet mash over here. See, you guys get like all the gourmet food. It's going to be fine. Tons of rotten flesh because that's their backup food that I've had to like stick in everything. Salmon, rice, and sweet apple in here as well. Let's see. I'll even put a couple of little beef liver treats in here. There we go. Now I know my puppies are going to be fed. And I'll make sure to load up this one over here with lots of the good food and some zombie jerky so that the puppies can grow up big and strong. Ah, wonderful. All right, well, there we go. So tomorrow is going to be a big, fun adventure day. Maybe multiple adventure days. Who knows? I love setting off on random adventures and just seeing where we go and what happens. We'll take Sunflower with us and we'll just go off in a direction and find whatever we can. And if we don't find enough water plants, we'll come back and we will start work Milky Way. Cowberry on building our very first greenhouse. Well, we'll have NPCs who can sell those plants to us So that's gonna be pretty fun because when I was looking up how they actually make aquatic plant greenhouses They're really cool. So we'll discuss more of those things next time uh, All right, and yeah, I think we're ready to go. All right I'm just gonna get ready gather up some food get sunflower ready, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye